In this video, I'll tell you an easy way to remember the classification of the salivary gland tumors. So first of all, in this one, just remember something as my basal docks flow. Just remember this term. So by my, we have myoepithelioma. By basal, we have basal cell adenoma. Now here by D we have ductal papilloma. Now this ductal papilloma, it can either be inverted ductal papilloma, intraductal or it can be silo adenoma papilliferum. Okay. Now by docs ka by O you have to remember oncocytoma. By C remember silent cyst adenoma. Cyst adenoma. Also canalicular adenoma. By S you can remember the sebaceous adenoma. Then by P, remember pleomorphic adenoma. Then by L, remember lymph adenoma. Now, lymph adenoma can either be sebaceous or non sebaceous. By O, you have written oncocytoma already. By W, remember Warthin's tumor. So, Warthin's tumor. Alright. Now, coming on to the malignant. For malignant, uh, you can remember there's uh, ma pass okay by M you can remember mucoepidermoid carcinoma by A adenoid cystic carcinoma by A acinic cell carcinoma by P you can remember polymorphous low grade adeno carcinoma that is p l g a then by a you can remember adeno carcinoma s squamous cell carcinoma siloblastoma also another s so sebaceous carcinoma in soft tissue tumors, uh, you must remember hemangioma. And in hematolymphoid, you have to remember Hodgkin's lymphoma and diffuse large B cell lymphoma. Also, extra nodal marginal zone B cell lymphoma. All right. So uh, this is basically, uh, basically the classification of salivary gland tumors. Now I will uh, demonstrate it through the diagram at which locations all of them are arising from and which cells are they arising from. Okay, So you can draw this in your exam as well.